I'm joined in the WNED studios by an absolute ball of fire. Her uh, <laughs> formal name is Alexandra Alvarado Suitala. Yes. But you don't call yourself that at all. I do not. No one hardly ever calls me Alexandra. I go by Allie. A-L-L-I-E. Yes. <laughs> the only <laughs> way to spell it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, Allie is last year's winner of the Sphinx Competition Junior Division. You may recall that uh, the year before we featured Randall Gooseby, also a violinist. And, uh, well, I kind of gave away your secret here, Allie. Oh. <laughs> your instrument is? Uh, I play the violin. And uh, very well in order to win the Sphinx Competition. Well, the Sphinx competition is a competition for minority musicians, African Americans and Latinos, and I'm second generation Mexican American, and it's a wonderful organization. The Sphinx competition is just one part of an incredible organization that works to promote diversity in classical music. Where's home? Home? Well, temporarily. It's in Chicago. I've been there for the past two years. Mm -hmm. I moved there for my junior and senior year with my mom to study violin. Actually, I study with Roland and Almeida Vamos at the Music Institute of Chicago. But I'm from Texas. Grapevine, Texas. And so Dad's still home in Texas. So he is. Pining for his girls. <laughs> he is. <laughs> well, his son and daughter. I have an older brother, oh. a year and a half, who's also in Texas. But um, he's in school. And yeah, my dad, he couldn't really move with us. We kind of you know, ask him, come on, it's fun in Chicago, come with us. But he has his own business in Texas, sure. so he can't really. Classical musicians have to do this. You have to leave mm -hmm. home and go where the teaching is so that you can advance your career. And, exactly. And uh, it's probably not the only sacrifice you're going to make. Uh, did you always want to be a classical musician? You know, looking back, yes, <laughs> I did. When I was little, I would always think, oh, you know, when I'm older and I get to go to music school and I get to play in an orchestra and all this stuff. And... I, and so I always did consider it seriously. It was, and it's always been a huge part of my life. I mean, you know, I'd have to make the <laughs> little sacrifices back then of saying, bye friends, you know, I can't, I can't hang out with you. I have to go practice, you know? And in fact, my teacher, my former teacher in Texas, Jan Mark Sloman, he, it was a very, you know, illustrious studio to be admitted into. And when we went to go play for him when I was nine years old, he said, I'll admit you into my studio, but you have to practice a minimum of three hours a day. Now, how old were you then? I was nine years old. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, what am I getting into? Hours a day, <laughs> nine years old. Hmm. Yes. But it takes that kind of work and dedication, but it's worth it. What do you see as the next step now that you have this prestigious competition behind you? To the end of the year, I'll be in the Music Institute of Chicago's Academy program. But next year, since I'm a senior in high school, I'll be going off to Music Conservatory, which I'm very excited about. I just finished auditions for mm -hmm. that. You know, with these Sphinx opportunities, it will help me in my career because, I mean, these are once-in-a-lifetime opportunities for violinists my age. You know, playing with orchestras, playing with Buffalo Philharmonic. With, I was able to play with Cleveland Orchestra, New York Philharmonic. Those, that's unreal for someone my age. So hopefully going off into the music world, you know, where I start making connections, I start meeting peers and colleagues, you know, future co-workers. Sure. <laughs> they'll see that. They'll hear my playing and they'll see that, you know, Sphinx winner, It'll open up doors in the future. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I got to tell you, Allie, I mean, all of these awards are nice, but just your smile and your personality are going to open plenty <laughs> of doors for you. <laughs> Thank nice you. That's that. so sweet. <laughs> it's really fun to have uh, someone so high energy. Where have you applied for music college? I've applied to about, I applied to schools in Cleveland. I auditioned in Boston at New England Conservatory, Philadelphia at Curtis Institute of Music. L.A. at the Colburn School of Music, so um, and at Juilliard. I was in New York City for my Juilliard audi audition as well. So I should be hearing back. It's nerve-wracking. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. Allie, thanks so much for coming down to WNED. Thank you for having me. This has been fun. And it's been a joy to be in Buffalo as well.